is the start of my birth vlog. It's currently 5.16. It's Monday, October 19th. And I'm pretty sure I am in labor. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm either going to deliver late tonight or early morning, but I'm guessing late tonight. So on October 17th, Saturday, I was kind of like crampy. I wouldn't call them contractions, but I was really just crampy and I just felt off. I told Benny that day, I told him to get ready because I felt like labor was getting close because I just felt really off that day. I was just extremely crampy and I just didn't feel myself. Like I said, they weren't like contractions or anything, but the best way I can explain it is it just felt like I was having my period. I was just really crampy. So that was Saturday. Yesterday, the 18th on Sunday, I was pretty much good like all day. I was able to like rest and I wasn't really crampy anymore. But last night, I was up all night. I wasn't in like excruciating pain or anything like that, but I was just having a lot of tightening in my stomach and it was just keeping me up. I wasn't able to get comfortable, so I barely <laughs> slept last night. Ooh. Hold on one second. So as I was saying, I woke up around like 8 a.m. and then I literally got on my phone and I texted Benny at 8.07 and I said, be on standby with a laughing face. And then he asked me if I was okay. And I told him I was cramping all last night again and I still am this morning. So I told him to just, you know, be near his phone because today might be the day. So around 8.20 is when I finally got out of bed and I went to the bathroom and when I pulled down my underwear, I saw my mucus plug and I also had my bloody show. With Layla, I never had any of that. I never had like any symptoms and signs of labor. My contractions kind of just like randomly started in the middle of the night and then that was that. With Aurora, I did end up losing my mucus plug and then I had my bloody show. And then within 24, oh, give me, give me one more second again, guys. So with Aurora, I ended up losing my mucus plug and then I had my bloody show and then within 24 hours, I was in labor. So this morning when I went to the bathroom and I saw that, I knew today was possibly going to be the day and here we are. I'm now timing contractions. The past couple of nights, whenever I've had like that tightening and I've had um, contractions in the middle of the night, they kind of would just like fizzle out and then the next morning when I would wake up, I would be like fine. But this morning when I woke up, I was still extremely crampy. So when I went to the bathroom and I saw that, I just knew today was going to be the day so I immediately called my mom and I told her that it would probably be best if she just picks up the girls today which I'm so glad I went with my gut and I ended up calling my mom and telling her to come pick up the girls because we have a scheduled induction date for October 23rd which is this Friday but I'm so glad I ended up just telling her to pick them up early today. I wasn't a hundred percent sure I was in labor this morning because I wasn't in any like excruciating pain. 
Oh, I'm having another one. I'm just glad that I ended up going with my gut and I ended up calling my mom this morning and telling her to grab the girls just in case. My mom is about like three hours away from us. So she's really far away and then our hospital is about an hour. My mom still isn't here yet. So we ended up calling Benny's mom as well, but she's still like an hour and 30 minutes away. So both of them are literally on the way to the house right now and I just, I don't know what to do because our hospital is about an hour away and my contractions are definitely starting to get stronger. I've been timing them. According to this, on average, my contractions are about 50 seconds and they're about every like six minutes. So I feel like I definitely should be at least on my way to the hospital right now so i am a little bit stressing over it but i'm trying to just stay calm try to just relax try not to stress myself out but we'll see benny is grabbing us food right now and then he will be here and we'll try to figure out what is going to happen what baby Mommy, tell the good luck, mommy. Good luck, baby. 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 Oh, we go, Chanel. Oh, we go. Lucas. Lucas, you're leaving. I'm gonna go. Hey, hey. I'm gonna go have baby sister. She's gonna go have baby sister. I'm gonna have baby sister. Where? You be good girl, okay? Okay, I love you. <laughs> so, I'm not even sure what the last clip was. <laughs> I think the last thing I filmed was when we were saying bye to the girls, yeah. which was at like, what, do you remember that time? It's like 5.30, 6 o'clock maybe? I don't, I don't know. Let me see when I texted my mom, because I text her whenever we, we were like saying bye to the girls. It was at 6 when we said bye to the girls, and then it was like another 30 minutes. Yeah, so we got here probably like 6.30, 6.45. Yeah, so we got to the hospital at like 6.45. And we haven't vlogged at all because... She's been struggling. It, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling. Just got my ice chips. So as I was saying, is I, like as I was telling you guys this morning, I was having like contractions, but I was able to like do everything I needed. Like I did the girls' laundry, I like was getting all of their clothes ready, like I was able to like walk through them, breathe through them. And then when you got home from work, which was like. I probably got home around a little after, or a little before five maybe. Probably like 4.30. Yeah, so like maybe like around 4.30. They just hit so hard, like out of nowhere. And I was having them like every two minutes. So I was like, I wasn't doing that great. I drove as fast as I could within the legal limits, <laughs> and I'm still getting yelled at. So we made it, though. Yeah, I think this is like my this has been like my quickest labor. Yeah. Depending on when baby girl makes her appearance, so it's about to be 9:45, and I was I was she said I was about like an eight. But then she broke my water, and then she said I kind of went down to like a six. But she said I'm like stretchy. Yeah. So, baby girl will probably be here today. Most likely tonight. Yeah. yeah. Depending on when they check her next, because I probably shouldn't take her that long to get back up to an eight. Yeah. I'm mean, pretty numb now, so. Baby's probably most likely going to be here, I'd say, like 11. You think 11? Or midnight on the dot, like Layla was. Um, I'm guessing 10, 10.30. You want to show them my contraction chart? Yeah, so these are the ones lately. Uh, I think 
Are they still having a lot? Yeah, they have any. You don't have one right now. But these are pretty much like when they go up. So you can see like how high they've been. Are they big? Yeah, they're pretty big. Or am I just a baby? No, they, they've been pretty big. Like all of them have been pretty big. Are you still having them like every two minutes? Uh, as far as it looks like, yeah. But. <laughs> Eating my height. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's been pretty good. And I was so nauseous too. Oh yeah, she had the bark bag the whole time. <laughs> I had that with Aurora when I was in labor with Aurora. I was throwing up. I didn't throw up this time, but I was extremely nauseous during all of the contractions, so it just made it a lot worse. And I was really lightheaded too, like I was gonna pass out. Yeah, well, it was that's just really intense, really fast. Well, yeah, you just need to work on your breathing technique, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can only imagine. But you pushed on. No, you I did good, baby. <laughs> I feel like I need a good cry, though. I'm definitely gonna cry when she's born. I think I might. I mean, they're all my eyes out. Well, we'll probably update you guys whenever we get the, uh, whenever she gets checked again. And then if not. I feel like not, the next time I get checked, it's gonna be big time. It's gonna be Probably. So. If not, next time you see her on the checkup, then you'll see the baby. So in the last clip, I said I think it was like 9.45. Mm -hmm. It was actually only 8.45. The clock so, was faster. Yeah. So I know it looks scary, but she's okay. They just needed to give baby a little oxygen. So, uh, but, good news. It's now it's 9.40. Yeah, now it's 9.40 and she's 9 centimeters dilated. <laughs> so baby girl's getting there. I um, guessed, what did I guess? I said 10.30? I think so. I said like 11. So. Yeah. yeah. Let's go look at her contractions. Yeah, I'm not feeling them at all. Oh, these, you've been chilling for the last, last couple of them. They haven't been too bad. This last one was big. Did you feel that one? No. <laughs> she didn't feel it at all with that one is pretty big but then you can see the last couple ones they haven't been that bad she had, had a good couple of them back to back a while ago at like 9 30. how are you feeling though good a little bit nauseous though again oh, almost done okay. i'm pretty i can still like move my feet and stuff but i'm like no <laughs> like once you check me right now, I didn't feel it at all. Mm. So. Yeah. Yep, we'll get to be, meet baby girl soon. I guess. <laughs> you said you're, t you're ready? <laughs> me too. I'm exhausted though. I've been up since 3 in the morning. I'm like, I have so much like adrenaline going in me now. I'm not even tired. Lucky you. <laughs> I'm dying over here on the couch. You should go get a little nap in. That's okay, I'll nap when she's here. I can't sleep, I'm too. I'm a, what is it? The, I'm a worry, what? A worry wart or whatever? But yeah, I'm just worried. I mean, I know everything's good. I know the baby's healthy, but uh -huh. I'd sleep better knowing that like she's good to go and everything. Yeah. So. All right then guys, till next time. Baby, you got it. Nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. Breath and then push that. Push. One. Good job. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, go. You're doing good, baby. You're doing good. Okay, go. Okay, I mark it out. 
<laughs> it's a girl's 2216. Alright. Alright. Hi, Hi, Mama. Delivery time was 22 